What's up guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to Ghost Signal, a Stellaris game thing. <laughs> I'm playing the demo today uh, of uh, Ghost Signal, finally started working for us uh, not that long ago, but uh, yeah, I was a little delayed on making content for this because I was doing other stuff, but anyway, let's uh, do this. So I just started up the game a little bit ago, so now uh, we got this little... I'm only a hologram, Captain. Sorry, didn't mean to invade your personal space. Anyway, let's do this. The deep space receiver has picked up a stray signal. It is behaving erratically. We should return to base and analyze it. Sure. Before we set off, let's make sure everything is fully operational. Starting by reviewing our weapon systems. Tutorial. Note the enemy hull indicator on this hologram. When depleted, the target is destroyed. Got it. The short-range blaster cannon does increased damage against hull. Ammunition circles the crosshair. Okay. So it's kind of a... You don't have to be super exact. Which is fine. Excellent shooting, as always, Captain. Ammunition refills automatically over time. As for threats armed with shields, the long-range laser will inflict the most damage. Nice. Well done. Shields are always depleted before hull, so try to adapt to the situation. Missiles have near-infinite range and are very effective against both hull and shields. Hmm. Okay. Bang. Okay. So far I like how it's Missiles set up. are powerful but have limited ammunition. <coughs> More ammunition can be salvaged. Weapon system calibration complete, Captain. Let's check ship movement controls. Resources can be salvaged from hostile ships, but also from drifting rocks. Our scanner has near infinite reach. Oh, I like the light on the meteors and all that. Okay. Nice. The laser cool. is recommended when targeting asteroids due to its long range. This handy resource functions as currency in this part of the universe. You'll have to get used to the uh, setup as far as the aiming and the movement and all that. It feels good though, so far. So this is ordinarily supposed to be played as a uh, sitting game. Um, I'm currently standing, but uh, yeah. I'm receiving bits of the strange signal again. It is most certainly more than space static. Ancient, but decryptable. Let's return to base. Okay. 
to base. Welcome back to UNE Outpost FS612, Captain. The strange signal has been analyzed. When decrypting the irregular pulses emanating from deep space, we found a faint embedded message. It is impossible to decipher its meaning without context. Advanced decryption might shed some light. Establishing uplink to the UNE core server. Stand by. Strange. Uplink to UNE HQ is non-responsive. Re-establishing connection. Re-establishing. Warning. Catastrophic waveform incoming. Energy reading immeasurable. Brace for impact. I don't like it. Ghost signal. Stellaris game. So I've never actually played Stellaris. So I don't know a lot of the background, but apparently this is pretty... Pretty, uh, in-depth as far as what stuff is going on with. But, uh, yeah. Like, Captain, I think the ghost signal the is an actual thing. Seized. Personnel and technology are seemingly unharmed, apart from a few key functions. Strangely, long-range communication and skip drive are non-functional, while all other systems are intact. We cannot return to a core system or receive vital resources like nutrients. We should not rule this out as an attack. It seems deliberate. Still transmitting. I have traced the signal, and it originates from the same direction as the energy wave. To reach the source, we need to go into uncharted space. It is imperative, Captain. If we do not solve our situation, we will perish. Well, that seems pretty convincing. I'd also like to, if possible, change up some stuff. Angle hand to set direction, move hand to set direction. Captains. Oh, that's interesting. Switch. Protection, advanced arsenal, large wallet. Let's not do any of that. Music volume, here we go. Let's go down to 40 on that. And let's go down to 20 on that. That's fine. Okay. Bloom, fine, rotation vignettes, which I haven't seen any of that yet. I'm kind of curious about mode two here on uh, all that. Hostile ships approaching, Captain. These parts of space are not safe. Remember to switch between blaster and laser. The blaster has a shorter range and is most efficient against enemy hull. The laser has a longer range and does increased damage against shields. One final thing. Our own ship shield recharges between sectors. As long as we don't deplete our ship hull, we stand a chance. Uh, right. Did it say it did save. Angle hand to set direction, move hand. Oh. I didn't notice much of a difference, but. see that object emitting a beacon. Scan it to retrieve a component. They provide powerful improvements to the ship. Select which component to equip. Oh, very cool. Decoy drones, freeze ray. What do we have for the freeze ray? Decrease target movement speed when hit by the laser. Okay, what's the decoy drones? That's decoy drones to be targeted by enemies, number of drones. So yeah, sure, I like drones. All components grant new powers. Here it is. 
Finding the right combination will be crucial for the success of our journey. Got to make sure I always check the uh, components can also be bought from traders things. and upgraded using scrap in the ship components menu. Got it. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's like FTL. I love to see it. Yes, yes. Missiles. Our radar has detected a new threat, fast approaching. This enemy will moving out of its path would be advisable. Use the thrusters to quickly escape if needed. Finally, while plotting a path, our perception of time slows down. We can use this to chain waypoints and maneuver out of harm's way. Laser until they're in range. I do like that it's relatively easy to uh, collect resources. You know, you don't have to fly over to each one of them manually. I like that. So what do we have here? Creature, question mark, battle, shipwreck. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check out the creature. Oh, look at you. Good, I can set up uh, movement with uh, my other hand. contains a creature, a non-hostile space whale. It is too big to challenge, but scan it to retrieve a unique component. Nice. Very cool. Okay. Drill ray increases mind credits bolts <laughs> when destroying asteroids using the laser. Okay. Cool. No reason to not equip Many that. more alien creatures exist out there. Both friendly and hostile. Next time, there is no telling what we might encounter. It's true. We did take a little bit of damage in that one. So we gotta be a little bit more careful.
do like that it lets us uh, <coughs> set up our waypoints, though. That's pretty nice. Send out a missile. that. Okay. Not too bad. Looks like there's some little meteorites kind of off to the sides a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. Got a traitor now. This sector contains a friendly components trader. Scan the ship to open up a communications channel. Oh, look at you. All right. Laser sequencer, volatile laser, aggressive aura. What's that? Increases damage against nearby targets. Increases laser damage and beam size for each equipped laser weapon. Okay. Damage increase per whatever that thing is. Chance to cause explosions. 3% chance per second. Hmm. Kind of feel like aggressive aura would be the way to go. That would help with our munitions. Not so much the laser, but... Hmm. Let's go with the volatile laser. It sounds fun. Guess we could buy the other things, too. It all. Forget it. If short on scrap, we can recycle some components using the ship components menu. Hmm. Ah, okay. Sweet. Hmm. Look at this. We got new, new places to go. It's pretty cool so far. That was worth two missiles. <laughs> cool. Very cool. I like it so far. Like it's a pretty simple game, but um, what it's doing is it's it's doing it very well. These sectors open up all sorts of possibilities, but take caution so we don't get infected by defects. Defects, defects are negative components that cannot be recycled. Only specialized craftsmen like the Tinkerers can dismantle them. For now, scan that strange structure to make contact. Oh, look at you. Did you come here just to meet us? Why are we 101011 ever so pleased to make your friendship follower? State your purpose, who are you? State our purpose. Let us conduct our activity business. Do you have a strong digestive organ food sack? Oh no. Hunger for danger. Choose your fighter. Level one, level two, level three. Let's go for level two. Shield catalyst equipped. Clear for hyperlane travel at your command. So what do we get? We didn't get a defect. Good. Chance of restoring shield by 50% if depleted once per sector. 50%. Cool. Got it. Very cool. So let's check this again. I don't know which feels better right now. I don't know. 
They seem kind of the same ish. Shots here. We are not done yet, Captain. Didn't assume we were. Hyperlanes ready for travel. Everything. I think that was everything. It took a little bit of shield damage, but not terrible, I guess. I do like the collection, though. Okay. We do have a tinkerer coming up. Oh, utility trader. Didn't see that. So I believe this game is 1999. Escaped me there. I don't think so. We seem to have found the Tinkerer brothers, known for their exceptional craftsmanship and cumbersome sibling rivalry. <laughs> Contact each one before making your choice. It's like defect to discard. Okay, do that. Repair? I don't need a repair. Uh, we could get our missiles back. Currently I'm out. Might as well. Perhaps another time. No hard feelings. Planet looks cool. Up above. I do like how vast it makes it look, though. Mm, chimera. We may die here.
Come on. We almost got the missile launcher. You have a very limited amount of time to disable those. We do have missiles. Range for the lasers. Shoot me in the face. <laughs> Stellar performance, Captain. Let's go. Hey, that's the demo. Now completed the demo for Ghost Signal, a Stellaris game. The signal still beckons on the galactic horizon. The mystery still unsolved. Battle bosses, discover new abilities, compete with players. Very cool. <coughs> yeah, that was pretty good. I think that, uh, you know, I think that that's probably worth $19.99. Captain, I cannot compute this. Somehow, we are back to where we started, with our memories seemingly intact. Fix this, Ver. I'm sorry, Captain. To simply fix this is beyond my ability. We need to work together. Ver. Recognitive scans indicate that all scrap and components have been lost, reset, as if our last journey had never actually happened. That is inconvenient. When done with preparations, we should set out again. The mysterious signal is still transmitting. Okay, so let's hang her. What can we see here? Looks like we've got different ships that we can unlock, which is pretty cool. Pandora. Near the game with the Aurora. Near the game with the Pandora. The Aurora, the Pandora, and the Iris. Very cool. Different weapon mods potentially available. Ah, yeah, here we go. Okay. 435. So we can't do research until we have the full game. Okay, so what do we have here? We got hole engineering, thrusters, more hole, increased movement waypoints. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That'll make things a lot easier. Ah, oh, get different... different coatings. Very neat. Very neat. Increased shields. Assistance. Okay, so you can get components, assistance, and just for the ship itself. Very cool. Discount. Increase ship movement speed while outside of combat. Cool. Then you can start with more scrap. Nice. Auto collect loot. Eh, it's kind of whatever. Components. Auto cannon. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is where you can get like different uh, different things unlocked in your run. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. I like uh, I like the system that they have going on right now, um, along with uh, the general 
I guess, aesthetic of everything. This is, uh, like I stated before, this is a, a, a seated game as far as uh, how you're supposed to play it. But uh, I'm playing standing right now, so you can play that way if you choose. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I like it. It's almost like a point-and-click, third-person kind of a roguelite FTL type game. I dig it. But uh, anyway, as far as coverage is concerned, uh, I think that's going to do it. If you guys would like to see more, then let me know. I would be willing to purchase the uh, full version of this game if you guys want to see more. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye